Core 3, practice paper 3, question number 6. List, this is part A. The temperature of an oven, temperature of beta, after t minutes is given by this equation. In other words, this equation will work out how hot the temperature of the oven is after t seconds when t is written in minutes. State the temperature that the oven approaches. So in fact what that's implying is you turn the oven on, it gets hotter and hotter and hotter, but eventually it arrives at a temperature and it stays at that temperature after an hour, or is it 10 hours, or 20 hours, 30 hours, but it stays at a particular temperature. It eventually reaches a temperature, and that's your lot. What is that temperature? So let's have a look at our equation. The temperature it reaches is 300 minus 210. Let's put this down there. So, the temperature is going to get higher and higher and higher and higher. So after many, many years, it would approach an infinite time. So that is going to get infinitely big. So that's going to get infinitely big. Eventually, that is going to approach. That's what the arrow means, approaches. Eventually, that's going to approach infinity as well. So therefore this fraction of this divided by an extremely large number is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. As the denominator gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So this is actually going to approach zero. So in other words, in time, this will get to be zero and you'll end up with 300. Now let's look at the wording of the question again. The word in the question again says state, and that's implying that we should be able to look at that and just write the answer down, because in fact it's only worth one mark. There's no marks for this working out at all. This is something you're meant to think through, a thinking process, and appreciate that's the answer. The word state implies the answer is obvious, which I hate saying. I don't think anything is obvious unless you agree that it's obvious. And I don't. So, oh, let's get on to part B. If you want to see part B and the rest of this paper, you'll need to go to www.mathstutor.biz and consider buying the set of DVDs and the set of papers for Core 3. So visit www.mathstutor.biz for more information on A-level exam papers and other mathematical DVDs.